What's going on, everyone? Arctic here, and we're back with some more Fallout New Vegas. Last time we dealt with the uh, Omerities or whatever. One of the strip, one of the um, whatever it is, one of the casinos on the strips, on the strip, not multiple strips. We're just gonna go and turn our mission in wherever she is. There she is. Hello, Colonel. Have you discovered what the Omerities are up to? The, the Omerities were up to something big, but I stopped them. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. Now that that's out of the way, let's see. Mr. House was a concern, but someone conveniently dealt with him for us. Oh, that reminds me. You might be happy to know that your efforts haven't gone. Yeah, you're welcome on taking out Mr. The House already. Been throwing around the idea of having the president visit the dam for a while now to rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios One solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? Is there no peaceful way to resolve this? No. Just because you secured the aid of the cons, assuming they don't try to kill us, don't think the Brotherhood will be so easily swayed. These are people that both hate us and outgun us. There can be no compromise. Anything else? How do you expect me to destroy an entire Brotherhood chapter? A fair question, and one I've had our strategists think about for some time. Their consensus is that we must focus on the one thing we can count on. With the Brotherhood, that's their obsessive attachment to technology. They'd never go anywhere that didn't have working power. I'm willing to bet that wherever they're hiding, there's a working reactor powering their equipment. That's their vulnerability. Detonate that reactor, and we can safely cross the Brotherhood off our list of concerns. Is there anything else? After the battle, we consolidated our hold on the plant before pursuing our enemies. It was a mistake, to be sure, but there wasn't really any place for them to go. When we finally gave chase, however, they had simply vanished. Some of our people think they had some means of conveyance, like the vertebrates the Enclave used and hightailed it out of here. I think that they found some place to hide close to Helios and never went that far at all. No, ma'am, that's all. All right, time to go find the Brotherhood, then. We signed a treaty with the Great Khans. Guess you can never have too many low-life chem dealers. Hey, now. They are literally going to kill themselves for this. I don't want them to kill themselves. And I know there's an option for, uh, if Papacon was around to convince them just to leave and go, I think, north it was? No, I think it was, like, east. We can go east. Where are we going? So this is where we're heading off to, Hidden Valley. Well, Sloan is pretty close to it, so we'll head there and then work our way down. Oh, yeah, this is the place where I helped out this little, uh, Snuffles. Alright. So, after this, I think we're almost there with... Because the president's gonna come and visit, so... Does that mean there's going to be an attack on the president? I don't know who'd be stupid enough to attack. Uh -oh. Was that all? You know what? actually gonna go and make a quick stop somewhere else we haven't picked, seen him in a while where is it novak i think sneaking done fighting now where we're gonna go get boomer fighting over we haven't uh used him in forever and he is an old ncr soldier so might as well just go grab him real quickly
There it is. We should also grab some stim packs as well while we're at it. Do a little bit of a shopping spree before we uh, head out anywhere. Oh, wait, is he actually at the casino? I think he's at the casino. Shoot. Alright, well, then I guess we're heading to the, back to the strip. So what do you guys do now that your uh, master's dead? Just stand around and guard until you run out of power? What do you need? Bye. Is it There's Boone. Let's go, Boone. We're going to go and find the Brotherhood of Steel, and we're going to try to convince them to uh, join us, because we want as much peace as possible. We don't want to go around just killing everybody that we find. Even though we had to murder Papa Khan, but hey, hey-ho, whatever. And I guess they had to kill the Omeridas. Or the leaders of it, but hey, the the uh, the new owner, uh, the new leader of them is doing pretty good. He's nice. He likes us, only because we threatened him with our uh, his life. I think this is the shotgun head uh, he gave us as well. Hidden Valley discovered. Time to fight. Is that double kill? Oh, I like this shotgun. See, this is why I like Boone. He's just like wiping them out before we even get anywhere. Fighting over. I'm gonna need to grab more of this ammo. What what ammo do I need for this? 12 gauge? I'll have to remember that. Okay, so this is where they're supposed to be. Anybody home? I'll just keep doing this. It's got to do something eventually, right? Quick save. Oh, shit. I guess I could have looked at the dead body over there and been like, oh, yes, that makes sense then. Gotta be more bunkers around here then, right? See more bark scorpions. 
Oh, another bunker right over here. This one looks pretty tough. Well, I'm not too worried about it. Come on, Boone. Okay, well, there's some more dead bodies here. That's all. See if anybody's home. This one's also collapsed in. And heck, this is just some free XP at this point for uh, pick locking everything. He just kills Where's everything before I even get a chance to. There's another bunker there. And looks like one more over there. They've got to be in one of these bunkers. Okay, this one looks a little bit more cleaned up. Like, there's lights down here, so there's got to be... Journal. Okay, so. No one can't pick that lock. Shoot. Really thought it'd be like the last one that you would go to, which I'm guessing is that this one over here. I really thought it would be that one because it's all the way in the far back. If this isn't it, then I don't know where they could be. Steve was here. Billy rules. You suck. Huh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hello there. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. Hand over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. There's nothing to talk over. You can strip down and hand... Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Bye-bye. He's made me naked. <laughs> There's like, his suit just talked. How come Boone doesn't have to be naked? How the hell did you get in here? Normally I would have already shot you, but I'm under orders to bring you to the Elder. Will you come peacefully? Okay. I'll take you to him. Follow me. Closely. Or you'll be shot. Hello, Elder McNamara. How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. Accident or no, we both now find ourselves in an uncomfortable situation. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern. And I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks. Some basic, some a bit. 
An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? Yes, we could kill him easily enough. But sometimes you can learn a great deal by observing people, both enemies and friends. Which is why it will be very interesting to observe how you choose to deal with the situation and decide which you are, enemy or friend. Do we under... Very well. I'll be interested. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. Fair enough. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission. Alrighty then. And you'll be fine. You'll find your equipment in a chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you... Have you ever wanted to be invisible? I have. I have wanted to be invisible. Oh. You're okay on stim packs. Oh, do we have stim packs? I never even knew. I guess I could just go to the one place and just. Medics uh... reserves empty. Okay, well we already know which bunker he's in because of the notes, so he's somewhere over in this one. How do I convince them to join us? Because I don't want to have to kill them all. Okay, where's the bunker again? Uh, right here. Alright, so he's probably down here then. No, he's not down here now? Oh, well, there is some new equipment set up. Yeah, this wasn't all here last time we were down here. Yeah, I'm not going to kill the poor ranger. Like, I'm still friends with the NCR. But I will destroy the, his ship, though, so that he can't use it ever. So I think that after we finish up the Brotherhood of Steel part, we're going to go on to the one of the next DLCs. I know we just got Boone back and stuff, but Boone's only here for this journey, for uh, this adventure, and then maybe to um the final battle. And then we'll go from there. We're actually very close to finishing this game. Like, I would say, like, 15 episodes at the most. Depending on how long we I do it. We haven't seen anybody in a while. Maybe the monsters have stealth Stand suits, back too. The door. But, yeah. And then we'll be on to Fallout 4. How did you resolve the situation with... Gone? Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? I see. And he's not particularly likely to come back, since he's learned that the bunkers here aren't secure enough to serve as safe houses. It's not a foolproof solution, but indirect methods rarely are. What matters is that you drove him off without alerting him to our presence. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. 
Thank you. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Yo, everyone's hating on Elder Max and for on how he acts. This guy's kind of a dick as well. Well, if we can't make peace, at least we can just blow them up. What I wish to discuss with you can wait for once I get settled in the command room, outsider. Oh, well, I guess I'll just follow you then. Well, hello, ladies. If it's not broken power armor, it's I broken electrical I heard some special squad of rangers is on its way to the Vegas area. I guess the NCR is finally getting serious about fighting the Legion. Oh, shoot, I lost him. Where'd he go? I have important work to do, so no time to talk. Is this the command room? McNamara's done a pretty good job, given the situation he was handed. Why is your friend there glaring at me like that? Did I bump into him or something? No, he just, uh... Hates, uh, Brotherhood of Steel. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. All right, I'll begin looking immediately, Elder McNamara. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. Ooh. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Nice. I love on how I can still just go to Yes Man by the end of this and so. be like, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. And I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Why should you trust the Elder? I'd recommend listening to both of us. And choosing whom to trust for yourself. So are you willing? Sure, go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new elder is installed. And I'm supposed to nominate yourself? 
I would. I'm the senior most paladin in the chapter, and have more combat experience than any two others here put together. I'd gladly support another candidate, but no one has the courage to step forward and make the attempt, so it falls to me. I would put this chapter back on the right path if I could just assume leadership. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? Yes. I know the loss of the patrols has weighed heavily on his mind for some time. He took it very personally when they first went missing. That was when I first began to seriously question his ability to lead us. A commander has to be able to deal with the potential loss of his men. It's strange that he would ask you to find mission disks on them, however. The missing paladins were all on standard patrols, which don't need them. Only brothers sent on special assignments are given mission disks. If you should find any on the lost patrols, let me know. After lifting the lockdown, the first thing I'd do is send scouts out to recon the area. We need to know what's going on out there. Next, I'd resume patrols in the near vicinity and begin sending search teams out to the spots the scouts reported were relatively safe. It's standard procedure when a chapter relocates to an area. But standard procedure wasn't our last elder's style, either. Elijah was a strange one. His even becoming elder was highly questionable, seeing as how he was a scribe. Typically, only paladins are eligible. But an exception was made in his case on account of him being a genius. Unfortunately, whatever scientific acumen he had didn't extend to tactics. Trying to defend Helios was a blunder of the worst kind. And many brothers lost their lives because of it. Many of the senior paladins, myself included, advised him to fight a retreating action. But he refused to budge. He said he almost had it working. We never did find out exactly what he was talking about. When the perimeter was finally overrun, the Elder had simply vanished. Alright, so here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to get Paladin Harridan to become the next Elder. Because I don't like that guy. This guy seems like he cares more about his men than anything else. And that might be the way that we get him to work with the NCR at the Battle of Hoover Dam. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? So we're going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to obviously continue helping out the Brotherhood. We're going to go find these lost tapes for them. Wherever they are. Where, are, where even are they? Okay, well, once... What were they going to do in your... What were they doing near the Air Force base? Now, that is a little sketchy right there. If he was sending them out near there. What's over here? Well, obviously, with names like this, I'm pretty sure these guys just died because of natural causes. But anyways, thank you all for joining me. I'll see all of you in the next episode.